welcome back to my channel if you are new i would love to have you consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the bell right next to it so you don't miss out on any future videos that i post so for today's video i wanted to recreate this starbucks drink that they had I believe a few years ago, probably like 2016, this zombie frappuccino was super delicious from what I can remember. It just tasted like a caramel apple. So I really wanted to try to find a recipe that was true to that one and the way it tasted. And I found this recipe. I'll go ahead and link it down below and I'll also leave all the measurements and the ingredients that i used in this video that way if you guys want to create it as well you can do that so without further ado let's go ahead and get this video started so for the base of the frappuccino what you're going to need is some caramel sauce green apple syrup milk and simple syrup for the simple syrup it was as the name is simple so all i did was microwave half a cup of water and half a cup of sugar and I just uh, heated that up for about three minutes until the granules of sugar dissolved. And then you'll just let that cool. The other ingredient you're gonna need is gel food coloring, chocolate sauce, and heavy whipping cream. So before making the frappuccino, the first thing you wanna do is whip up your heavy whipping cream for their top. So here, I am not really even measuring my heavy cream. I'm just dumping in as much as I think looks right to me. And then you just go ahead and blend this until you get a medium peak. Once that day is achieved, you can go ahead and add powdered sugar, granulated sugar, vanilla. Here I'm adding some vanilla syrup um, to sweeten it up. Before it starts getting to a heavy peak, um, this is where I'm going to go ahead and start adding my color. Once that is all whipped, go ahead and put this into a piping bag fitted with any tip that you like. And then just set this off into the fridge so you can whip up your frappuccino. So now that you have your ingredients, all you're gonna do is dump all of this into your blender. And I did forget to mention, but you are also gonna need two cups of ice. And I forgot to show me adding the milk here, but don't forget your milk. And then you just go ahead and blend this up until you like the consistency. And I wanted my chocolate sauce to look a little more bloody for the rim of my cup. So all I did was added a little bit of red food gel coloring into my chocolate sauce. This is optional. You don't have to do it, but I wanted mine to look bloody. So that's what I did here. Mix this up and then go ahead and also add this to a piping bag. Go ahead and trim the top of your piping bag and then just add as much or as little chocolate sauce to the rim of your cup that you would like. I want mine to look super bloody, so I added a lot to mine. Once you have that, go ahead and add in your green apple frappuccino. And then the heavy whipping cream that you set off to the side, bring that out and go ahead and add this to the top of your frappuccino to make the scary brains on top. And there you have it, the zombie frappuccino that is absolutely delicious and tastes like one of those green apple lollipops. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like. Please also share it with your family and friends. It will really help me out a lot. And I will see you all in my next one.